All right, uh, Terry, uh, I mean, the first question people ask is uh, why in 2020, 2020, um, a biography of child matters. Yeah, well, Rowan, uh, this is the man who in Australia is regarded as Australia's most important left-wing intellectuals. Uh, he wrote a book which came out in 1923 called How Labor Governs. Ever since then, progressive politics, labor politics, socialist politics has revolved around what he had to say about the possibility of parliamentarism, parliamentary politics advancing uh, progressive, radical, socialist uh, um, aims. And it's, a, it's a book that uh, Labor historians constantly refer to. That's right. And also Labor politicians, although for them it's a bit of a problem because it's fairly plain that he's, he's quite cynical about their, their role. Well, OK, so he has this significance in Australia. But then, of course, he's also, as, 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 as one archaeologist has said recently, uh, the most famous archaeologist of all time. Ah. Uh, and it's true, for 30 years, uh, he was the professor of archaeology, first at Edinburgh and then in London. He churned out very significant books. They were printed over and over again. Uh, um, and, and he was invited all over the world to international conferences, Harvard and so on, uh, to represent archaeology in the world. So he has that reputation as an archaeologist. And incidentally, it continues. Um, he had a career of about 30 years in archaeology and he produced 21 books, hundreds of articles, hundreds of reviews and so on. Now, in the 30 years after his death, there were more publications by child than there were in the 30 years of his career. That is, his books and articles kept being published over and over and over again. So he is the most famous archaeologist, there's no doubt about that. Now, the, the effect of having these two different stories about him is that the man disappears. The, uh, he's, two, he's two people in the academic literature. And what my book does is to bring him together, bring those two parts of the child together and say that in fact he's one person that there's, a, that, that, that there's a continuity to his life. And moreover, and most significantly, the continuity is his politics. Right, so when you say two people, uh, he, he's treated as a socialist intellectual in Australia. That's one part of his life. He becomes the archaeologist. That's another part of his life. And yep. people have not been able to bring the two together. That's right. Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. Well, I'll just add something there as well. I mean, if you're famous enough to be mentioned in an Indiana Jones movie as uh, Indiana Jones is about to go out on one of his uh, uh, great crusades and he's about to leave his lecture theatre on an urgent call and uh, he's about to dash off and a student says, uh, Professor Jones, what, what, what's archaeology all about? And Jones just says, if you want to know what archaeology is about, consult the works of uh, Gordon Child. And I mean, if you put that in a, uh, uh, yeah, a Hollywood movie, I mean, the man's got some sort of international cred. You know, what is it? Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, uh, that's how famous it is. How many other Australians get dropped into movies like, uh, uh, like that? How many other intellectuals get dropped into uh, uh, movies like that? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, There's a reason for writing this book yeah. and a justification. Yeah, that's right. But, but that, that brings another question, like uh, uh, raises another point. Um, this book took a hell of a long time to, uh, uh, to get produced. Um, you check the footnotes and you check the, uh, the bibliography and you realise that uh, uh, deep archival work's been done in a multiplicity of uh, 
uh, archives across Australia, uh, Europe, uh, America, um, and there's a, a, a huge amount of uh, uh, child's works too, so you can understand that. But it's taken something like, uh, your research took place over 30 years, mm -hmm. and then it's not finished there because you take another about uh, nine years or so to write the book. Mm -hmm. So the question becomes basically, yeah. you know, explain a bit more about that lengthy process. Right, yes. Because exactly. the thing is, yes. that sort of lengthy process is not no. uh, encouraged today no, or right. even financed today yes. in the modern university. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yes, I, I was very lucky, I think, to uh, begin this research before uh, neoliberalism and uh, uh, the new management practices uh, arrived in the university sector in Australia. Um, and uh, I, I, I had a, um, a department that was uh, supportive of this kind of research. Um, and so I, I just persisted in doing it in that, in that form. Um, you, you might point out, of course, that you did write uh, what? Oh, yeah. Uh, ten, other books and ten books or something. Yeah, there were other books. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But it, but but getting on top of Child was 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 extremely difficult because of his uh, his philosophical interests, his 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 contribution to the science of archaeology, um, his political involvement, uh, questions about. Um, his sexuality and his death. I mean, it was, it's, it's a, he's an extremely complicated person. And uh, I didn't feel like just rushing in and writing, you know, a short 200 page book or something. So, um, yeah. Then I also met a guy called Peter Gathercole, um, an English anthropologist, a very important scholar. And uh, he had been uh, a student of Charles, in fact, one of the, one of the students that. Uh, yeah, in the 1950s, one of the last students. And he, um, he was also a man of the left and wanted to write about Child himself as a man of the left. So he's a man of the left. Yeah, and so Peter and I cooperated on, 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 on quite a bit of work around Child. But while he was... Um, uh, working on this political account of child, I, I held back. I focused more on how Labor governs and his Australian role, child's Australian role, and uh, and, and, and hoped that Peter would um, finally produce the political biography that he talked about. Um, but I think it proved impossible for him in the end. Um, uh, but in the meantime, he'd sent all copies of all his research stuff to me. So I had, as well as the, the archival research that you mentioned, I had a lot of stuff that Peter had discovered and it passed on to me, I think because he knew that ultimately I would write the political book. And he died. Uh, and he died in 2010. And so after that... 2000. Uh, 2010. Did he? I think. All right. I'll check that up. I think it's 2010. It's in the back of the book. All right. Um, and so it's after that that I decided I really, you know, had to bite the bullet and do the, do the proper political biography, not the short course stuff, not the short book about his, about, about, about child in Australia, but a proper uh, account of his life and politics and, 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 and thought.